Hi friends, welcome to the reading room. Today we are going to read The Paper Bag Princess and pay attention because you are going to help me throughout it as well. Elizabeth was a beautiful princess. She lived in a castle and had expensive princess clothes. She was going to marry a prince named Ronald. Who do you think is more excited to get married, the princess or Ronald? And why do you think that? Unfortunately, a dragon smashed her castle, burned all her clothes with his fiery breath, and carried off Prince Ronald. Now, I want you to take a minute and think about where the dragon could have taken Prince Ronald and why he would have taken him. Elizabeth decided to chase the dragon and get Ronald back. She looked everywhere for something to wear, but the only thing she could find that was not burnt was a paper bag. So she put on the paper bag and followed the dragon. He was easy to follow because he left a trail of burnt forests and horses' bones. Do you think it's a good idea for Elizabeth to go off and search for Ronald alone? What would you do if you were in her position? Finally, Elizabeth came to a cave with a large door that had a huge knocker on it. She took hold of the knocker and banged on the door. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Well, a princess, I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. He slammed the door so fast that Elizabeth almost got her nose caught. What do you think Elizabeth is going to do now? Do you think she's going to try to find another way in the castle? Or do you think she'll just head back home? Elizabeth grabbed the knocker and banged on the door again. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Go away! I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. Wait! shouted Elizabeth. Is it true that you are the smartest and fiercest dragon in the whole world? Yes, said the dragon. So Princess Elizabeth here complimented the dragon. Why do you think she would compliment the big scary dragon that stole her prince? Is it true, said Elizabeth, that you can burn up ten forests with your fiery breath? Oh yes, said the dragon. He took a huge deep breath and breathed out so much fire that he burnt up to 50 forests. What other compliments do you think the princess could give the dragon? Fantastic, said Elizabeth. And the dragon took another huge breath and breathed out so much fire that he burnt up 100 forests. Magnificent! said Elizabeth, and the dragon took another huge breath, but this time nothing came out. The dragon didn't have enough fire left to cook a meatball. Based on what just happened with the dragon, what do you think Princess Elizabeth is up to? Elizabeth said, Dragon, is it true that you can fly around the world in just 10 seconds? Why, yes, said the dragon, and jumped up and flew all the way around the world in just 10 seconds. He was very tired when he got back, but Elizabeth shouted, Fantastic! Do it again! Why does Elizabeth look so happy here? Think about how the dragon would feel after he would do everything the princess would ask him to do. So, the dragon jumped up and flew around the world in just 20 seconds. When he got back, he was too tired to talk, and he laid down and went straight to sleep. Do you think the princess could get back to the castle before the dragon wakes up? Elizabeth whispered very softly, Hey, dragon! The dragon didn't move at all. She lifted up the dragon's ear and put her head right inside. She shouted as loud as she could, Hey, dragon! The dragon was so tired he didn't even move. How do you think the prince and the princess are feeling at this moment? And why do you think that? Elizabeth walked right over the dragon and opened the door to the cave. There was Prince Ronald. 
he looked at her and said, Elizabeth, you are a mess. You smell like ashes, your hair is all tangled, and you are wearing a dirty old paper back. Come back when you're dressed like a real princess. How do you think Elizabeth is feeling right now, and how do you think she is going to react? Ronald, said Elizabeth, your clothes are really pretty, and your hair is very neat. You look like a real prince, but you are a bum. They didn't get married after all. Hi, friends. I want to know, would you still be happy if you helped somebody who was not thankful for your help.